seem to tie for you? Do you guys kind of needed every bit of it? What was going on? No, I, I think over the past probably um, probably ten games or so, I'm I'm really just slowing my game down a lot. I'm seeing um, I've seen a lot of you know obviously we've had a lot of, a lot of injuries, and uh, I've seen just about every defense um, kind of this season. So I feel like my game is just really really slowing down, and my pace is great. And I'm just uh, just understanding myself more and um, knowing what I can get to. So. As a whole, do you feel like you guys just started off, or was it something that their defense was doing to kind of muck things up? Mm. I mean, I mean, that's the point of their defense. Uh, the, the way they play, they pack the paint. Uh, they 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 make you make the right play every possession down. So coming into the game, we knew that. But like tonight, we were just just flat. Um, you know, I think we shot. Seven for 32, 33 again from three. So can't win many games like that. Especially if the game is really low scoring. I mean, we held them to low 40s for most most part of the game. You know, they got a little hot at the end, but yeah, we give ourselves a chance and uh, you know try to get them shorthanded. What do you think made the difference in, in, in the fourth quarter? Is there able to get some momentum, especially early in the fourth? Uh, Jalen Brunson. I mean, he just took over the game. You know, he's an all-star this year. He's been playing phenomenal basketball. He's been a guy that's really kind of probably, in, you know, he, he's the extension of Tibbs off the court a little bit. You can just tell from the team last year, this year, this, they have more poise and patience, and they look for him, and um, he delivers tonight. So. You mentioned they packed the paint. Was it as simple as that why they had such a big advantage in terms of paint points? They had a lot of pain points you're saying? Yeah, it was 50 to 28 pain points. We only scored 28. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, um, Mitchell Robinson is a load in there, and then a lot of times they 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 shrink on the floor, and then if you're in the paint, they're they're swarming. And so a lot of we shot a lot of tough shots in the paint tonight, uh, knowing that was going to happen. But <clears throat> you know, we gave ourselves a chance. So. I think it's just 40 minutes for you. How do you feel physically coming out of a game like that? Uh, it's amazing. I feel great. You mentioned just, you know, teams are throwing different defenses at you. That's something that Brad has talked about, you know, for the past few years for him, I guess. Does he try and give you any advice or anything like that on how to adapt to that? I mean, I mean, this is all new for me. This is the first time in my career I'm, I really, I'm having a, a role of, you know, this high of a usage. So. You know, I'm learning on the fly. I'm learning um, pretty fast too. So I'm a student of the game, and I, I, I understand. Uh, and I played with some great players. So watching them, understanding how teams guarded them, I'm kind of seeing those kind of things right now, uh, especially when we have guys hurt. But you know, it's all about just watching film and and, and just believing in yourself, playing simple. So. This was uh, another game where Corey shot a really high percentage, but didn't take all that many shots on the six attempts. And is there a way that you guys can get more attempts, or you know, maybe do you think you need to be more aggressive, or how, how do you kind of see that? <clears throat> um, I mean, uh, teams understand that he's a, uh, a three-point shooter, and they did a great job of not allowing him to get up, get off shots. You know, I, I think for the most part he was he was you know, hunting when he could, uh, made shots when he could, put the ball on the ground, made the right play. I mean, that's all you can ask for. Um, I thought they did a pretty good job of just the three-point defense all night. So, you know, that comes with it. What do you think about the bobblehead? Uh, bobblehead is amazing. You know, it's a blessing. Anytime, like, a, a NBA team or uh, organization, they put marketing dollars behind you. You know, it shows you they really care and they appreciate it. And, um, you know, blessed, blessed to have this opportunity. So. Have you ever seen a bobblehead with movable arms before? Um, I don't like to call it bobblehead. A bobblehead is like a sports term. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't really in it. I like action figure foods. I like that vibe. <laughs> I'm the action figure today. Yeah. Did you think that uh, that outfit would have just as much of an impact? <laughs> uh, I mean, I knew it was going to go viral. 
not globally how it did and how it just went crazy, but uh, hopefully I, I made Rap Sims a lot of money, so. Do you still have that sweater? Or did that? Uh, yeah, it's hanging up. Mm -hmm. Cause you can't hang here and fold the sweater. No, it hangs. It hangs on the wall. Oh, oh. Like I got it in my house, but like, it's hanging on the wall. It's an art piece. I'm sorry, none of my sweaters hang on my wall, so yeah. Framed? It's only me, that's all. You said you, you knew it was going to go viral. I, I can see why you would think that. If you were going to tell me you are like, I think this is going to go viral. Um, no, because most things do go viral, but I mean, some more than others. Like some I was, I, came in, I was like, yeah, I'm about to go crazy here. And then they just don't. But um, yeah, for the most part, I know it does. So. Making shots on the stretch. I mean, they got some guys that are a problem in isolation. And um, we did a good job getting their guys to the right spots. And you know, they made it when they needed it. And a few uh, shots tricked out for us. Um, very how, how do you see the way they defended you? Um, there's, there's been some talk about how they've kind of packed the paint. And maybe it led to all the three-point attempts for you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how they play defense. That's how they play defense all season long. They protect the paint and then kind of bet on you not making the right play. Um, the right play tonight for us was a lot of threes. And uh, just one of those times where it didn't go down. And those are quality looks and looks that we, we want to get. So we live with those results. You made at least one three in 17 straight games. Just kind of, how are things going for you right now? Oh, I feel great. Um, best I've felt in my career, shooting the ball for sure. Um, I'm really, really happy with, with where my jump shot is. Um, Corey, you talked just about kind of searching for consistency this year. I guess aside from that, how do you kind of judge your trajectory this season so far? Um, not getting wrapped up in numbers, I guess. Um, scoring numbers, stuff like that. Um, being really focused on the big picture, long term, um, where I'm at as far as my goals, two, five, seven years down the line. Um, I think I've taken some big jumps to to get there. Um, defensively, shooting percentage, um, the way my shot feels, all that stuff is lining up perfectly. Um, you were in and out of the starting lineup last year as well, and I don't know if that was a challenge for you at all or not, but have you, do you feel like you can better this season just dealing with the different yeah yeah I mean I kind of know what to expect um you know I'm in the you know in the morning and in the afternoon I gotta put on my starter hat and I gotta put on my you know come off the bench hat like I guess got two different roles on this team and um you know that's the way it is so gotta um deal with it take it in stride and um kind of learn how to play in both roles especially on a night when you know Brad is out do the coaches or teammates encourage you to try and be more aggressive, trying to find your shot? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if Brad's in or out. Like, they're still encouraging you to be aggressive. Um, I can always be more aggressive. And um, as someone who's responsible on this team for shooting threes, um, and we don't shoot a lot compared to the rest of the league, uh, it's kind of my job to be aggressive. So, um, you know, Brad, even when he's in, is one of the main encouragers. So, um, looking to take more and more. Probably an overly specific question, but on the one drive you had Mitchell Robinson kind of close you off, you kicked it out to Rui in the corner. I think it's just what's going through a player's head. Okay, do I try and get this layup up or? Yeah, um, Mitchell Robinson had one of the most impressive blocks I've seen in a long time uh, in the first half, um, and I didn't want. And you know, down the down the stretch of a game, we're kind of down by four or five, maybe six at that point. We needed three, and it didn't matter how much we were down by. We needed three. Um, so my whole goal for that drive and kick was to get my feet in the paint, and draw some defenders, and then kick it out and um, try to get three on that play for sure. What do you think about because it's bobblehead? Um, I, I love the movable arms. It's a nice touch. Um, he's gonna. He, he he loves iconic things and iconic moments. He says it all the time, and like that's iconic and that's a. Uh, um, something you can be proud of. Hey, Corey, how you doing? What's up? Uh, maybe about two two months ago at practice, I asked you, you know, you added that drive in to your game. You had a nice dunk today. Um, do, you, do you feel like teams are starting to realize, like, you can get them off the dribble, um, just from your perspective on uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, you know, number one priority for a lot of teams is 
or really for every team is to get me off the three point line. And um, I'm starting to grow into more of a playmaker when I put the ball on the deck. And um, it's good for me, it's good for my game, and it's good for our team if I can make good decisions, whether that's lay it up or spray it out um, when I get the paint. So um, definitely can, can I continue to work on it and grow my game even more.